there, everybody, and welcome back to Sasquatch Survival. I am Sasquatch, otherwise known as Gavi Sauce, and we're back at the L House without a roof, um, because I came to a very important conclusion. Um, I like this house better than my other one, so I tore it all down, and we will now just be living here at the L House indefinitely. I've even put up a hitching post here to, you know, to find that fact, and we're just going to be living here forever. Uh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? I don't think I could ever really build anything better than this. I mean, just these little cutouts here in the wall are so much great, and this uh, lo lovely, lovely lighting effect that this has. Um, again, uh, just beautiful horse here. The, like, seaside ocean views with mountains of sugarcane all around. Uh, these lovely bridges that I put in. Just cannot think of any place better to, the, better, better to live uh, than right here. So, we are officially just going to be moving over here. Uh, today will be... Today will be will constitute mostly just uh, running back over to our old house, uh, or the empty crater that is uh, now what used to be our old house, or our, what was supposed to be our new house. But I mean, like, how can you improve on this birch perfection? And um, yeah, just pulling all that stuff back over here because clearly this is just the best we're ever going to get. And uh, I'm just so so excited and so thrilled to be able to uh, share this moving experience or moving back experience with all of you. Uh, so we're gonna hop on our horse over here. And we're going to head out there and get started on that right away. And uh, life will be good. Actually, I'm not doing any of that crap. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I felt like doing that, but... I, 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 I think, actually, you know what, I take that back. I do know exactly why I felt like doing that to start things off. I just wanted to, you know, feel the hate come at me from Kuya. Because I, I, he's been waiting so long for me to actually get stuff done. And then for me to just abandon all progress and start going back over here. Even though it's quite clear that I was just joking about all that. Um, yeah. I, I just I just wanted that moment. I'm sorry. I'm a bad person. Um, today we are going to be working on this mess. And holy crap, it is a mess. Uh, we're going to be parking our horse over here. That's why I have these fences with me. And uh, we have a new horse. Um, the donkey... I'll be honest, um, I killed him. Not accidentally, I, I just bold-faced murdered him. Uh, not not in anger, just very pragmatic sort of way. Um, I, I was getting everything together to do this today, and we're going to start, we're going to start, hopefully maybe even finish, uh, working on, ow! Come at me, bro. Yeah, you don't have a helmet on, you're, you're toast, pal. Um, very pragmatically, I killed him, uh, because, well, he couldn't do what you typically get a donkey for. He could only jump, like, one and a half, one and a half blocks high. He wasn't, he was fast for a donkey, but he wasn't, like, majorly fast, so I feel, you know, having been sl I feel a loss to not being able to move around at that speed anymore. Um, and he couldn't carry a chest, which is the whole reason why you get a donkey in the first place. You can have him carry your chest for you, so you have extra items and stuff about. And then he just didn't have that ability, so... Um, I decided to clear the spawn rates a little bit, because horses will not spawn anymore, because I have tamed as many as can spawn. Um, I guess I do have that one extra one. Um, that spawned somewhere last episode, but... I forget where, and quite frankly, I don't really care that much uh, about him. Uh, so, yeah, today, today we'll be uh, we'll, we'll be using this horse here. Uh, he's not real great. He's he's better. Um, he runs a lot faster, that's for sure. Uh, he, he can only jump two blocks high, but that's at least one block higher than the donkey could. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll breed him someday and get a, a better jumper out of it. Uh, but for now, great, no, oh, don't kill me. Okay. First things first, we need to light up a little bit of these caves here, so we don't have spawning quite so close to where we're going to be working. Yes, all right. I like this plan. Um, and, uh, there will be at least one, perhaps more, uh, time lapses occurring during the course of this. Uh, let me go ahead and just light these up the way in here. Ow! Come on. 
Where'd you go? Come on, stop it. There we go. He's dead. Good. Good. <laughs> Give in to your anger. Let the hate flow through you and please you weren't supposed to let the hate flow through you. You're supposed to be very calm and collected and very Jedi like, Mr. Creeper. Uh, but you failed at that and so very self destructive tendencies. Fear Actually it was uh Yoda who did that. And I don't I don't have a very good Yoda voice, unfortunately. Um But uh, you know fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to um well, blowing up and killing yourself. So, yes! Delightful! I guess you can't really call that suffering because it was over very quickly, but it clearly wasn't the best outcome for him. Um, and he didn't really do me any damage either, so really not the just very counterproductive uh, way of living there. Um, so, oh, and yes, I realized that it just came up as an autosave. Uh, totally forgot about that. Um, Kuya and I have been having some issues, uh, when we've been playing just on Sunday nights like we normally do, and, uh, turned on that autosave feature. Let me turn that off real quick. Um, other options, settings, game options, autosave interval, turn it off. There we go. I may regret doing that, but, uh, yeah. Uh, we're, we're just gonna run ahead with it for now. And life should be good. So, um, yeah, I I think what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to get all this kind of cleared out. And uh, I think I will even, like I said, I'm going to do some time lapsing here today. And I think this will be our first one. Um, this is the first skeleton spawner that I have built. So I'm not sure how well this is going to go. But we'll give it a shot and we'll see what happens. So I will take a quick break here and I will see you back momentarily.
and we're back, and we're still building. Um, I made a small error in... Wow. <laughs> I made a small error uh, in clearing out this room a little bit. Um, I didn't have it quite large enough, so I just took off an extra strip all the way around the outside um, that you guys weren't here for uh, in that little time lapse there, so hopefully you all can forgive me for that. I um, also need to put that there so I can get back up here. Good. All right. Um, so yeah, now I, I have our trench dug out. And I'm also going to have to find a way to get back over there, but um, what I'm going to do is going to come right here, and I'm going to do something that they tell you never, ever, ever to do, and I really don't have to, but just for the sake of doing it, I'm going to, and people can yell at me in the comments down below. Oh, okay, and that's kind of why they tell you not to do that, but still, kind of interesting, all right, so one, two... One, two, three, four, all right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoa. All kinds of fun stuff. All right. <laughs> Keep lighting up cave here. Hopefully nothing will come along and kill me. Uh, I right, just put that there. Find my hole. Here it is. Um, I promise I do know what I'm doing, it just doesn't look like it. Alright. I lost count. Alright. Dig up. <sighs> or build up, yeah. This is five, right? This one. No, this is four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right. And that is where we'll do it. All right. Uh, do I have my map on me? I do not. I appear to have lost it somehow. Uh, okay. So, um, first things first, let's get a little bit of a maneuvering room here. Um, I'm going to be filling a lot of this back in at some point. Also need to figure out which direction I'm facing, which is really hard to do. Um, because everything looks the same from right here. Tell you what, let's, uh, all right, let's take all these walls out a little bit further. I want to leave that one there, and uh, we're going to keep just building this out and about and around and make it bigger and kind of a staging area. I'm actually going to want to take this down another one for the rest of the room here. All right. Uh, that block there can stay just so I can make sure that I know that, that is the right block. Put a torch on it for a moment. And is this off kilter? No, that's right. Okay. Um, all right. We have good things happening. It may not look like it, but we have good things happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably, yeah, I'm going to cut and I'm going to do another quick time lapse. I'm going to get all this area cleared out. I'm going to get a easy way in and out of here. Um, and I'll be right back as soon as I know how I'm going to do this. All right. Uh, sorry for all the cutting and stuff. I try not to do those in my videos because uh, I'm lazy most of the time. But this one is a little bit in depth. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right. Sit tight.
and we're back with a lot more arrows in us. Um, that was a little bit intense. Uh, we, we're all the way down here now. Um, just have to really place one more block. And uh, there we are. Um, well, I guess we should place a couple more. And uh, we'll get into all the specifics of how this will work eventually. But for right now, this ought to do. And this will be our way down here, so we can just put this one here, and this one here, and this one here. Alright, good. Well, I guess we'll just close this off completely. Just for sake of continuity. Um, actually, that's not going to work. I'm glad I have my Silk Touch pickaxe with me. Good! Yay. Alright, um, you know what, let's just set it up real quick. Um need to set up this piston right here. Nope, wrong way. Set this piston right here. And this piston right here. And I think this is how this works. Let me just check. Uh, a block, I guess, right there. Now, one of these has to be moved in. Okay. So, we move this piston in to right here. Good. All right. So then, no, that's still not right. What am I doing wrong? This one. Okay. Oh, okay. They can actually, yeah, this is, it is equidistant. I just don't know what I'm doing. Beautiful. All right. There we go. Good. And then what we do is we take these two buttons. And I think this is how this works. Roughly. Push this button. Yes. And then they should fall in here. And this is a 23 block fall. So it should be a one punch kill from there. One punch. Sorry. And then if you do this, then they fall on the magma block. And they take one heart of damage. And they die. So. Now I need to go fix up that extra hole that I forgot to fill in up there. And uh, we should be about good to go on our skeleton farm. <clears throat> it's ultra, ultra simplified. Um, I got really lucky because it spawned super high up in the air. And so I don't have to deal with a lot of other stuff that is just, you know, frustrating and annoying. Uh, more so than some other other things. But uh, let me see if I can remember how to get there. Oh, this way. Derp, 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 derp. Not that one. No, it's... How do I get there? Is it? This is it here. Okay, got it. Alright, so... This is where the spawner is. Uh, it's about four blocks down from here. No, it's six blocks down from there. Alright, so... This would be one... No. One. Two... Because this is where the spawner is. One, two, three. I don't know. You know what? <clears throat> We're going to eat a fish. And actually, uh, can we just dig through over here? This would be really convenient if we could just dig through. I'm trying to avoid the dirt. Why, is the, why does the dirt always confound? Seriously, why is there so much dirt here? I need there to be less dirt. Alright, I'm going to put this cobble back in here because I'm not, I'm just not going to deal with the dirt. Um, yep, yeah, just not going to do it. Alright. <sighs> but I have to. Alright, so we will deal with the dirt by digging through here. Alright, and then if we can come over this way. Because if I recall, this did actually meet up with one of the places that we put torches at. So I just have to get back up here to a certain point where I have already put torches. How about this one here? This will do. Beautiful. Here we are. All right. And I guess just put a torch there for the heck of it. All right. Now, that goes that way. I believe it was this way. Maybe not that way. All right. We'll go this way. Ah. Yep. This would be the one. One with all the skeletons in it. Because they are not falling all the way through. Aha! Yeah. 
There's no way that this many skeletons just happens to be here. This is the one. All right, so all I have to do is just build up a little bit of a retaining wall, and uh, then everything will be good from there. We just have to kill the skeleton because, you know, it's a skeleton. And then I'll have to set up an, a system to like, actually catch all the drops. Uh, Kuya helped me figure that out, or he knows it, and then he told me how to, how to do it. So um, I'll be doing that probably in the next episode, because um, I'm not really sure how long this one's going to be. I, I wasn't re... I was happy with how my last time lapse came out, but I wasn't like super happy, because I would prefer it to be a little bit slower than how than how fast it was. I also need to fix this because I hate walking down staircases that look like I'm hitting my head because I'm a tall guy and I have that perpetual fear. Um, and yeah, this is good. This is good. All right, let's put this back, push this back in place. And I'm also going to have to find a place where I can stand because this is too far away because this is 23 blocks and they only spawn with fear within 16. So if this is 23. 22, all right, 21, nope, not that one, 20, 19, 18, okay, that's going to be a little bit of a ways up there, all right, well, we'll figure it out, but we'll figure it out next time, so, in the meantime, um, we have the beginnings of a skeleton spawner, and it will be fantastic as soon as I get all these arrows out of my armor. I am so glad I have projectile protection and all this stuff. Otherwise, this would have been just like instant death. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you did enjoy, like rating down below would be very much appreciated. If not, a dislike rating and a nasty comment telling me to get good scrub or, uh, you know, figure out what I'm doing or anything to that, to that effect. Let me just make sure I don't have any more holes in this. Nope comes right down from the top. There is a lot of light up there. Why is there so much light up there? I need to find that out. Alright, so in the meantime, let's just put this cobblestone back here and deploy this because I don't want them just congregating here for this moment. Uh, why is there so much light in my spawner? I need to take a look at that and then after we figure out why there's so much light in my spawner, we will end off the episode. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this found you all in, uh, good shape. Y'all aren't having any sort of issues or difficulties or none of such like. Uh, wait a second. Is it this way? Of course it's not. It's this way. This is going get, to get to be a problem. Um, hopefully, though, I won't have to come over here too much more. Alright, now. Why is there so much light in my... Oh, holy cow! Okay. You can go there. <laughs> Alright. I may have uh, misjudged it a little bit. Alright, get rid of this. Really? Oh, that might be why I have so much light in my head in there. Maybe one of the ceilings isn't finished off. Aha! No, that is not the case. Alright. We should. I'm very confused. Right in here. Okay, there's part of it. Oh, I forgot that one torch on the... Yep. Alright. That would explain why there was so much light. You. Aha. Alright, now. Please only hit me in the direction that I want to go. Thank you. You guys are spectacular. Just very helpful fellows. I hate to see you die. Not really. Um... I really want you to die. And badly, yes. Die in the worst way possible. Alright, ha ha! Falling to your death and burning on a magma block. Delightful. So, with that having been fixed, I think we're all good. You are all probably, probably yell at me, yelling at me for derps. Uh, but this is not Beam and this is not Kuyu Stream. Uh, which, if you haven't been checking that out, there's a link in the description. You should go check out Kuyu Stream. I'm over there at least once a week uh, for Monster Hunter Mondays. Um, for those of you on my channel who are old-time Monster Hunter fans, you should definitely go check that out. Not quite Triple Cart Pod, yes, but uh, in some ways I think it's better. That's my opinion. Um, 
I mean, you get to have, like, direct interaction, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So, yes, we have accomplished what we set out to do, and wow, is that a great shot that they got on me. They couldn't have got that one better if they'd have tried. Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did enjoy, again, like, like, rating down below. It would be very much appreciated. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.